Hi there, welcome to this video. Um, Matt Catter here. Uh, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you um, checking out my channel and watching my videos. I'm going to start in a series of like 10 minute videos on specifics. And this is the first one. It is going to be how to use multiple prompts. Um, I'm using Night Cafe for this. Now, something you need to be aware of, you can't use multiple prompts in Stable at the moment. I believe the, um, the ability to do so will be available in the future, but as it stands right now, you can't. And of course, you can't do it in Style Transfer but you can do it in coherent and artistic. So what we're going to do is basically just create something from nothing and we'll use multiple prompts in the way that they're meant um, for using. So we'll start with artistic. I like to create something in artistic, then move over to coherent. Um, it's just the way I work. Okay, so let's figure out um, a cool prompt. There you go. The setting sun over a lake outside Tokyo City reflects on the lake. Yeah, right. So, and let's see if we can find an artist for that. Who should we use? Let's just use Mr. Mumford. I'm going to start here just with a single prompt, quick thumbnail, and let it go off and create. So, there we go. Not bad. Not bad for um, a first blast at artistic, but right. Okay, so. What can we say? What do we want to get more into the picture? Well, we need a little bit more coherence because it's a bit weird and we need maybe more of the city and maybe having the sun in the sky, perhaps. So let's evolve it. We'll use evolve. Some, you know, most of the time I would go in and just correct the text prompt first. But as we're going over to coherent, I will bang in a couple of additional prompts. So um, let's put the setting sun high up in image. Try that. Um, Tokyo city in the background. Um, intricate details. Um, the sun reflects on on the lake. Oh. And a landscape masterpiece by, we'll just use Mr. Dan Mumford. Right, and I'll leave all of the weights um, as they are at the moment. And we'll pop it over to, I'm going to randomize the prompt and we will change it over to coherent. And prompt weight, yes please, start image, uh, 70-30 I'm going to go for. Now you don't have to do that. I don't know, I think it, must be, it must be my ADHD or something because I always like the two of them to add up to 100. That doesn't have to be the case. Um, and I'll leave it on um, the accuracy boost. In fact, I'll put it to there because it's more accurate. I've done videos with loads of explanations about why it's more accurate, so go check them out if you um, want to know. And when I go over to coherent, I always put it to medium low. Again, it's just a habit I've got into when... When I first started, I was speaking to Angus, the owner of Night Cafe, and at that time, I was using the um, Google Collabs, the notebooks, um, and they always seemed to be better for some reason, and I didn't know what the comparison was, and Angus told me that kind of runtime medium and low res is approximately um, the same as a basic Google um, Collab. It's probably different now because these things are just changing like, I don't know what, I don't know what else changes as fast. You know, the weather maybe, but yeah, so it's crazy. So. Let's see where that takes us. Okay, so the coherent update hasn't really... It's... Yeah, it's got... Yeah, it's just not what I'm after. So at this point, I know that I could probably keep going with that, but it's not going to do what I want to do. So I'm going to go back to the original um, prompt. And let's see if we can do something here um, to change this. So... So let's take this bit out. Let's put um, Tokyo.
Tokyo City in the background. No, that's in the background is perhaps the problem. So let's see. Hmm. So let's go the sun setting over Tokyo City. A lake in the foreground reflects the sun. Let's try that. Okay, so as you can see, I've done a few more iterations um, simply because this was a complex prompt. Now, we started here, we got to here, and then um, when we got to here, I knew that nothing we could do would fix it. But I'd, So I came into this one. So it's the same prompt. I just changed the wording around. I just moved things around. Um, but again, when you've got this kind of stuff, it's almost impossible to fix it. So what I did was um, open these up. So I thought, we'll try it. So I came with this one and I did mul multiple. Um, let me just see. Yeah, so um, I kept to the original prompt, but then I started trying to reinforce. This is why you use other prompts, multiple prompts. So I started to try and reinforce it. You know, sunsets with Tokyo Cityscape on the right of the image. It's there, it's there, but it's also there. Tokyo City Horizon Bar. So I just kept trying to reinforce it, and it was trying and trying and trying. Um, but um, in the end... Oh, wait a minute. So from here, I kind of got this result. Um, no, I didn't. Um, from that, when I got to that, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do anything about it um, at that point. Um, so um, I created this one. I created a completely new prompt. So Tokyo City Sunset, lake at the front of the image. I even spelled that wrong. The city is in the background on the horizon below the sun. The lake is in front of the city at the bottom of the image. Lake in front, city in back. So I've tried to really reinforce it and it's got it. You know, that's it. The composition just sucks a little bit with this. So I took this one and evolved it. And messed around with the weights. So I brought the main prompt down a bit so that it wouldn't really concentrate too much on that because it's too vague. The city is in the background on the horizon below the sun. Left that at one. The lake in front of the city at the bottom of the image. I brought that down a bit because it was putting too much too much of the lake in over here. I thought um, lake in front, but I brought it down, down a bit as well so that it didn't go mad and kind of misinterpret it and make too much of that and then I added photorealistic hyperrealism landscape of Tokyo that's why it looks like a real photo now so by this point um, we've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 goes at it and that's the best we can come up with so you could keep going and keep but it's 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 not what I was after it's not what I'm looking for so there's a lesson to be learned here Kept trying and trying, couldn't get what I was after. Do we have a better tool in our toolbox for creating this? There you go. So I used um, a simple one word prompt, asked exactly for what I wanted and I got it. You know, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's almost that. I don't see any sun. That's perfect. That's really cool as well, if a bit strange, as is this. But it's, a, it's you know, that's perfect. That's exactly it, apart from maybe the sky's a bit weird. This is cool. I don't know what that is. So, you know, use the tools you've got in your toolbox and use the methods you've got as well. So that was, you know, a new stable would give me a better result. But what about that? 
That's cohesive. That's artistic. How did I do that? Use the starter image. So it's it's not about it's not about having an idea and keep going and going and going until you get the result. If you've got a better tool in your toolbox, use it. If you need to use a start image, use it. If you need to use a better tool like Stable, use it. Um, it's great um, using multiple prompts um, to get ideas, to get results, you know. Um, using all of these and the way the, the reinforcement, that's the reason I got to where I got to in the end, which is there, which is Tokyo City Sunset Lake at the front of the image. That's it. That's basically it. But it took, you know, how many credits did that take? You know, a lot. It's probably one, two, three, then I gave up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you're looking at at least 20 credits. Um, Stable gave me 16 images for seven credits. And I got one image that's pretty bang on using a starter image for one credit. So yeah, that's it. That's how to use multiple prompts, um, but it's also how to use the tools that you've got to get the results as quickly, and not, not so much as quickly, but as efficiently as possible. Why spend 20 plus credits and getting something that is what you want? It's the description, but I don't like that. I don't like the realism. I don't like that at all. When you can use one prompt to get that or one prompt to get that. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. Um, don't forget to check the the notes, uh, the 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 video description for your discount codes and the link to my new Discord server. Please come over there if you um, have um, if you're curious about what it's about. It's it's, it's I'm specifically targeting people with mental health um, situations like myself. Um, but if you don't have any mental health um, issues then come over anyway you know there's um, it's not just for that so hopefully I'll see you there take it easy and I'll speak to you soon